my name is Shane Curran, I'm 16, I'm from Turnier College in Dublin. The name of my project is QCrypt, the quantum secure encrypted data storage platform with multi-jurisdictional quorum sharding technology. I've built a cryptography system that's faster than all the existing alternatives. It's completely independent from adverse legal and political decisions and there's also been new techniques developed for sharing keys between different parties in plain sight using the, the steganographic techniques. I suppose there's three or four main parts to how the whole system works together. The first part is a new key exchange scheme I've built for exchanging cryptography keys between two parties. It's completely resistant to attacks from quantum computers and is provably secure as well as being 40% faster than the next nearest, uh, next fastest competitor in, in the, in the world of cryptography. The next part is what I call multi-jurisdictional quorum sharding. Essentially it's where a file is broken into say five pieces where a quorum is predefined of say three. You need at least three of the five pieces to reconstruct the original file. Any less than three and you're no closer to resolving what the file was. That sort of brings me on to the, the QCrypt Vivo scheme that I've built which is a cryptographic proof of life scheme. Essentially after the key exchange the user themselves and QCrypt note a shared secret that no one else knows which is the key that's been exchanged. That can be com combined with a single piece of sort of ephemeral data, uh, which in this case would be the time. It's then run through a one-way, what's called a hash function, essentially where um, a signature can be, ge can be generated uh, repeatedly with the same result given the same input. Uh, the user themselves generates one of these signatures and QCrypt generates one of those signatures as well. It compares the two hashes and if they match, it means that it's a valid heartbeat and the file is kept as it is. After the Young Scientist, I plan on releasing it to the public somehow, uh, whether that's commercially or, or in the public domain, so that it can be used by everyone across the world to store really important secrets um, for anything from oral history projects to personal wills, um, so that it can, be remain, it can remain a secret either forever or until uh, the person wishes to release the information.